Hello and welcome to the VTAC application screencast. Today we're going to walk you through the process of registering a VTAC account and applying for courses. The VTAC process broadly consists of three steps. The first is creating your VTAC account, which is just providing some basic contact information. The second is completing your profile, where you'll tell us about your current and previous education, your residency, and some other details. And the third is your preference list. Okay, let's get started. Here we are on the VTAC homepage. You'll first need to click on Login in the top right-hand corner, even if you've not created an account. So here we are at the login screen. We don't have an account, so we'll click on Sign Up Now. First, we'll need an email address. It's very important that you use a personal email address and not a school or university email account, as you're creating a permanent account and you won't have your school or university email address forever. To ensure you're entering the correct email address, click on the blue Send Verification Code button and check your email for that code, which I'll do in another screen. Okay, there it is. I'll just cut and paste it over. Then I'll need to click on Verify Code. If for whatever reason you don't get the code, just click on the Send New Code button. Now I'll need to create my password, which will require an uppercase letter, a lowercase letter, a digit, and a symbol. Then I'll need to confirm that in the next box. Okay, VTAC will need my name and date of birth. I'll just put my name as VTAC Test. Lastly, I just have to choose my current education, which I'll select as currently studying slash recently completed year 12. If you have a preferred name over your legal name, you can enter that here. I'll just agree to the terms and conditions and privacy policy and click on create account. Okay, but we're not quite done yet. To ensure account security, you'll need to set up multi-factor authentication. So you'll need to enter your mobile phone number and you can choose between receiving an SMS code or receiving an automated call with the code. I've opted for SMS. Okay, that was quick. I'll just enter it here and verify and we're done. Account created. And here is the VTAC account dashboard, which is where you can access all of the VTAC services available to you. My name, VTAC ID and email are on the top left and I can amend those by clicking on the link underneath. Key dates are available on the top right. Because I selected year 12 when creating the account, that is the guide available to me in the middle and special consideration and scholarships will become available once I've submitted my preferences. But first, I need to complete my profile. 